Well, yeah, I think we now know, uh, thanks to the Me Too movement, that um, something I think most men did not know before, but almost all women have been through, you know, some fairly tough and indeed horrific experiences in their lives. Leila especially, she went through horrible, horrible things. I, 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 I wish I don't put one, but I don't also have the facts to describe. But she's turned them into, she's brought them, she made them inward, and has turned them into her work. Um, this is what powers to my mind my, my, her remarkable work. Uh, she deals with things that uh, many artists don't deal with. Uh, beauty. Most artists are scared of dealing with beauty. You know, it seems kind of old fashioned or something. Um, she is quite happy to deal with very beautiful images and create very beautiful images. But her personal imprint is so strong. The work is entirely laid in love. This is not decoration or something. This is the way she thinks and feels. Beautiful. You're, you're a very um, good speaker. Sorry? You're a wonderful speaker. Thank you. Yes. Um, so in her creating beauty from trauma, do you feel, have you seen that translate outwards into her community, into the people she surrounds herself? I, I'm sorry, you have to speak up a little bit. Have you seen um, her, in her artwork translating from trauma to beauty, have you seen that in other outward things besides her art, in her community, in her non-profit? Um, any notable moments that you think represent that um, growth from suffering? I, I'm conscious by, by her work because it, uh, the evolution, um, she does things that most artists uh, don't dare to do. She, is, she can be decorative, she can be Pattern surfaces and things like that, but she imbues them all with, with power, a power of deep feeling. And um, I don't know how I can say it better than that. Yes. Do, um, I know you've worked with Layla a lot over you the years. You have to speak up. I know you've worked with Layla a lot over the years. Is there anything you plan on doing in the near future with her? Um, there's a constant growth. I feel there's a constant growth. I'm constantly doing new things. Um, just this very evening, I've seen some, you know, some basically photojournalistic kind of photographs, which are very powerful, which I've never seen before. But yet they all, all automatically, you can see, come from her hand and her brain. That's yeah, pretty rare. Yes. Wonderful. Any closing thoughts? I'm sure this process will continue. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, thank you.